Hi, my dear doers. Planning your maintenance well is essential to keep your company efficient. At Stealthy Wood, we see it as our machinery's healthcare plan, healthcare that helps reduce waste and run an efficient, continuous manufacturing process. Also, maintaining my product handling system is vital to keep my equipment running at peak efficiency. If not correctly managed, unscheduled downtimes can happen, resulting in production stops and significant emergency repair costs, and nobody wants to waste money dealing with major breakdowns. Compared to this, regular maintenance costs are next to nothing, and I think most facility managers would agree with me that maintenance matters. And because I want your company to flourish as much as mine, I'll show you how you can schedule your preventive maintenance to avoid high costs and time loss, but also corrective maintenance, even if I hope you'll never have to deal with that using Odoo. All right, here I am on my database. I'm gonna go straight to the maintenance application where I'm gonna have a dashboard overview of my maintenance teams. And I'm gonna go straight to the equipments menu where I will have access to my work centers. And as a quick reminder, a work center is a place where the workers will actually use um, various tools and machines. And then I can also access those tools and machines by clicking on this menu item as well, which is what I'm going to do. So as you see here, I have um, lots of equipment. So let's go ahead and check out this first Samsung monitor. All right, so here I have different information that I can populate. So I have the equipment category. So I have several categories um, that I have created to fit my business's needs. Um, you have an owner for the item. I even selected a maintenance team. So here it's internal maintenance. All right, I have a specific technician who will also work on this item. All right, I can say um, which location it's used, and I will also see the work center here. And as always, we can add a description if we would like to. On the next tab over, we can also add some product information, such as the vendor and the vendor reference. And you'll see that I've added the model and the serial number. On the right side, we'll have the effective date. We can add the cost and also the warranty expiration date, which of course is very important to note. Then finally, we have our maintenance tab. So here we can um, say how often we should do uh, some preventative maintenance on this piece of equipment. We can even add the maintenance duration. Um, we can say um, the expected mean time between failure. And then we have some other fields as well, which we can't modify as you can see, such as the mean time between failure. And that is gonna be computed based on done um, corrective maintenance requests. Then we have our estimated next failure date and also the mean time to repair. So Odoo is gonna populate those fields um, automatically based on um, the data that is input once we start using um, this item in the work center. All right, and then I'm going to save this. And actually when you add um, a preventative maintenance frequency, then you're going to see the next preventative maintenance date. And Odoo will also automatically generate a maintenance request, preventative maintenance request, as we see here. Now note that it will be generated once a day, so don't be surprised if it isn't generated um, immediately after you save um, this change on one of your um, machines or tools, but that does happen once a day, so it will be generated within 24 hours. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our calendar. So we're actually gonna be able to see all of the maintenance that's scheduled, which is really nice. So we're gonna to go to the maintenance menu and I'm going to go to the maintenance calendar. So here for this week, I see we just have some preventative maintenance um, scheduled for tomorrow. So that will be for the piece of equipment that we were just looking at. And I can also jump over quickly to the Kanban view by selecting this option on the right corner here. Um, and here I'm going to see all of the in-progress maintenance as well as my new requests. And then I have some other stages as well, such as repaired and scrap. So it's really easy to manage all of the tasks that we have going on. But now let's go back to the equipments menu and we're gonna to go to our work centers. And I'm gonna to jump to this first work center so here, of course, we can add information such as the time efficiency, capacity, and the overall equipment effectiveness target. All right, and then we can jump over to the equipment tab as well, where we can see what equipment is used at this work center. We can add equipment as well by clicking on add a line. We can remove equipment simply by clicking on the X, just like that. And then we're also going to have some information that we also see um, on the equipment itself, such as the mean time before failure and the meantime to repair as well as the estimated next failure date as well. 
All right, so we can see all of that um, from the work center right here. And this is how I can manage preventative maintenance. But of course, there's also corrective maintenance, which will be triggered by my employees. So let's go ahead and see how that works. All right, so I'm gonna to jump to my dashboard again, and I'm gonna to go to one of my maintenance teams. So let's go ahead and select internal maintenance. All right, I'm just simply gonna create a, a new task. And we're gonna call this um, printer jam. Then we're going to select the piece of equipment. So this will be our printer. And we have our maintenance type. So I'm gonna be sure corrective is selected here. I can even select a manufacturing order if I would like to. And then we have our team internal maintenance. And then we have our responsible. Um, and we also have a scheduled date that we can add, the duration as well, and the priority. So I'm gonna make this a top priority. And of course we can add some notes. So let's go ahead and save that. And we have just created a new corrective maintenance request. And of course, corrective maintenance should be avoided as much as possible. And you should always try to put preventative actions in place. But sometimes you just don't have the choice. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.